Known for its bright green valleys, glacier-cut fjords, and roaring rivers, Iceland's dramatic landscape also contains immense power just beneath the surface. Located on the Ring of Fire, where the tectonic plates collide, it's brimming with geothermal energy, just waiting to be harnessed. Today, Iceland gets 30% of its electricity from geothermal power production. It could produce much more, but until recent technological developments, Iceland's plants had to be built to handle temperatures of more than 180 degrees Celsius. This required specialized pipes, pumps, and other equipment, which made them expensive and time-consuming to build. Now that we can capture the energy from temperatures less than half that, it opens up a whole new realm of possibilities. Like here, in Flúðir, about 100 kilometers outside Iceland's capital city of Reykjavík. Besides being known for its natural hot springs, Flúðir supplies roughly one-third of the vegetables on Iceland. Today, it's home to the first geothermal power plant in the world to harness low temperature heat. The plant here was designed and commissioned in less than one year. It's composed of a few key parts, a pump house, the heat power plant, and cooling towers. This pump house brings hot water up from the underground well at a flow rate of 54 liters per second. The water temperature is 116 degrees Celsius, just the right temperature for Climon's heat power modules. Here in these cooling towers, water is transported to and from the modules in a closed circuit, a practical solution when there's not enough cold water available for direct cooling. Here's what happens inside a Climon heat power module. Hot water enters, causing a working media to boil. When it boils, the pressure increases, pushing the now vaporized media through the turbine. The vacuum pulls it from the other side. This is the secret. This is how electricity is generated. After passing through the turbine, the vaporized media is reunited with the colder media, condensing it back to a liquid state. Each module can generate up to 150 kilowatts of electricity. This plant has eight modules. Its combined output is about one megawatt of power, which after deducting the plant's consumption, flows straight into the grid. It's more than enough power to provide electricity to all 400 of Flúdir's residents. In the future, there will be greenhouses in this field. The warm water coming out of the Climon modules will be piped into the greenhouses to keep them balmy in the winter. Once the greenhouses have utilized the heat, the water will flow into the hot springs at a perfect bathing temperature of 40 degrees Celsius. At the same time, any excess hot water will flow into the pipes of Flúdir's district heating system to warm their houses in the winter. The result is an entire ecosystem based on previously untapped primary energy, a safe, sustainable way to produce electricity that will last for generations.